Attain hut. Eddie, soldiers, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3. Today we are continuing the German campaign, and I've been looking forward to this. Sorry that I didn't upload anything yesterday. I was having uh, issues with the microphone and everything. And now, for those of you who saw my um, my post or status update, I did not, uh, or I am not using my newly bought Blue Yeti. It is, in fact, a very good microphone, but it isn't too suitable. First of all, I barely have any room on my desk. I can't get it to function properly. It doesn't even sound better than my current microphone. And it's picking up too much of my PC's uh, fans. I've got like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 fans in my case. So, no. No. I blew 100 quid. Uh, $200 for those who don't know what quid is. On a microphone that I probably won't be using. And I'm not going to bother sending it back to Germany, because that's apparently where it's sent from. And it took two weeks and all that, so... Fuck it. I'll give it to my school or something, and hope for something... M magical to appear in my grades. Anyways, uh, let's continue. And uh, we have some things to do. I remember this. The OKH Luftwaffe is simply not approved. It's supposed to be OKL. OKH means Oberkommando des Heeres. So with the OKL, it would be Oberkommando the Luftwaffe. Everything else is looking pretty good. Uh, I've been talking to some people who play this game a lot and all. I have a few friends. Uh, Sturm is one of them. He's, by the way, making the Tyler Krieg, a mod for Men of War. You might know what that is or not. Anyways, uh, it depends on if you're into it or not. If you're into Men of War, you probably wouldn't know what it is. Anyways, it is uh, important for me to really, really, really spend lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of money on my navy. I will be mass producing submarines because they are so bloody effective. So, with another 35 submarines added to the queue, uh, that would, well, hopefully, the amount of submarines I'll have <coughs> before the war begins will be sufficient. Uh, let's not forget the army, but I'm currently sitting at about a million men unmobilized or demobilized, so I'll beat the French, Dutch, and Belgians, and English together in an open field battle. Uh, I don't think the English will be here. They probably won't do that retreat in Dunkirk anyways. Which was a slaughter. Well, not a slaughter, but it, was, it wasn't the most effective retreat. We blitzed them. So, uh, yeah. Let's see here. The boys are over here. He only has one division in him, so we're going to give this guy some more dudes. Uh, I believe I have another set of cores who don't have anything. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, yeah, this one only has one. That's the one we were looking at. So the first army is going to get an increase in troops fairly soon. Just speed things up. Keep an eye on everything. Uh, let's take a look at the navy again here. Some of my submarines. Yes, Deutschland. I'm going to make this the pride of the fleet. It's a pocket battleship. It's one of the best ones we've got. It's now the pride of the fleet. So hopefully it doesn't get sunk instantly. But yeah, we shouldn't be that unlucky. Let's bring these guys up to the left. They won't do any good there in the Baltic Sea. I haven't, like, I rarely look at the naval battles, but they're quite cool when you click them. You can see the boats firing in it each other and stuff like that. Uh, let's add another tactical bomber here to the 4th air fleet. <coughs> Got the SS here, which isn't too effective at its current state. Steiner Hauser. Wasn't Steiner the guy that was in the... Uh, yeah, that's definitely him. That is definitely him. Um, you know, in uh, the bunker. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the picture, but look real closely. Wait a second. That is so much like the actor that was actually in there. He was like, in the Untergang, he's like, <coughs> Steiner, blah, 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 blah. And so they, well, he doesn't say blah, blah, but, but still, uh, they, uh, that's him. That's definitely Steiner, because he's like, Steiner, Krebs, Bord, or something like that. I can't, I can't remember it. So that's him. Huh? You hear me, Steiner? You're going to get yelled at when we lose. I mean, it's not going to happen. Uh, let's bring these guys up here. 
Wow, so much stuff in production right now. We are producing probably every country out there. I don't know. Perhaps not the Americans, but I don't know if they've geared up into like super I see. Dan it dan 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 down. Got another ten IC to spend. Uh I reckon we'll use I don't know, there there might be more need of it later, so we'll just keep it like this. We don't wanna outproduce our resources. Oh, all these submarines are gonna be done soon. Can't wait for that. Gonna position them in Hamburg. In Hamburg. Uh wait a minute, let's give uh Speer the destroyer there that was just finished producing. You shouldn't leave a pocket battleship alone without any destroyer uh, or any like later cruisers or cruisers to help out. It makes the fleet more effective, and if they get attacked by some uh, naval bombers or whatever, then that's a fairly nasty <coughs> deal. Gonna deploy three there, and then we're gonna amp them up like this. And deploy another one, and then we're gonna get all these dragged into the Führer der U-Boot. U-Bote. Submarines. Dönitz. Dönitz shouldn't be the submarine commander, but whatever. I might put it on someone else. Kreisch. Sea Wolf. Yeah, submarine attack. Well, he's a Sea Wolf. Uh, defense is good, I guess. Defense. Any other Sea Wolves around here? No. And we've got the Raider on the this one. Fair enough, I'd like to put Dönitz on this actually. But no, this guy will do just fine. Hitler, of course, he hasn't got any stuff yet. He's got the Grand Cross for some reason and the Offensive Doctrine. But he's got zero skill. Uh, von Blumberg will probably be replaced considering that. And I've read about a bit, a bit about that. Um, there's this <coughs> that he was like marrying someone inappropriate and. Hitler wanted to abort it, but he didn't, and it just created some big problems for people. I'm uh, gonna give some auxiliary ships here to Graf Spee and Hanover later on. They could have uh, two each or something like that. Could be good. Auxiliary ships are, are good to have. They're light, but they're all kinds of different types. Repair ships, you name it. Distance is quite large. Model 1918. They've got depth charges, that's good. More things are ready to be deployed. I'll give two to this. Uh, no, these two destroyers and this U boat can do fine. It's loss. Uh, we'll give them to the Kriegsmarine. There we go. Ah, oh, the British annexed Egypt. I'm gonna free Egypt. I'm a man of freedom here. Obviously. It's Deutschland right there. Cute ship. 18 ships in total, this guy can command 30, because he's an admiral. I won't give him 30, because there'll probably be penalties back and forth. Some rebellions here in Wadi Atarfa, Akmin, Isbet Abu Kefu. The war is raging on here. I wonder if they're going to do the same thing that they did when we played as Japan, when they just surrounded Madrid, but never did anything. Yes, allow the recruitment of foreign SS. It gives us more manpower. We'll lose some IC and supplies and organization, but... I believe that's temporary. At least we'll have more people to throw at the enemy. Uh, 111 in production. We've lost some IC. Uh, ha -ha. Diplomacy wise, everyone's drifting closer to me. Netherlands. Come here. Switzerland. I've got you. I've got you. Czechoslovakia, definitely. Poland is going to be my main thing. Austria is almost here. Italy can probably soon be invited. Japan, really close now. Uh, Ireland, hello. How are you doing? How are you doing? Philippines, nope. Czechoslovakia. The Netherlands would be kind of cool to have with you. Norway, yes, I want your oil. I want your infinite oil. Give it to me. Uh, Okay, we've got tons of extra now in production. I'm not using anything, but you never know. Whew, this is a hell of a lot of submarines. Uh, Donuts is going to be happy, I'll tell you that. Uh, 
don't know if this submarine fleet would need any of that. Uh, I'll give one to Hanover and one to Graf Spee. Produce or send some minor troops around here and there, and they might be be good against the submarines. Even though torpedo boats are probably better against submarines, as they're really quick. They got torpedoes. They've probably got depth charges as well, which is what you really need, and all that good stuff. So uh, I'm definitely gonna annex Austria before I ever get into war with anyone. Uh, I'm wondering. Here's the problem. Like I want Yugoslavia and Czechoslovakia to stand with me. Uh, these are not being influenced. They will be now. They're drifting towards us. Oh, we don't got 31 there. Need to put that one on 13 so that we don't lose any of the influencing. Espionage and everything else is looking pretty good. Oh, there I got zero. That got only four. Mix it out a bit. Put that on two. That looks good to me. And we are researching everything right now. I want the transport ships as soon as the marines are done, but they know that. Arctic warfare equipment and all that should be researched too. We're a bit early with that, but the earlier we have it, the better we'll do. And that's uh, exactly what I need. IC is being produced. Uh, we'll need some more anti-air guns, I think, later on. Three infantry divisions are being done, or will be done soon. I'm going to produce some artillery as separate separate little brigades that we can transfer into people definitely well this year's uh, yes plan z the bloody navy needs everything right now if you want to compete with the british that's fact pure fact right there Whew. i think something was just done building holy shit uh foreign wehrmacht recruitment uh yeah, I'll do that. I need more manpower. I'll get 10 each month. What am I at in politics? Two-year draft, full mobilization. Massive, massive. <sighs> yeah, mixed industry. Now we're approaching now. It's 1937. Okay. Got some divisions here ready to be deployed. I'll put them in the 13th Army Corps in Leipzig. So he's got four divisions right now. Some not, uh, some less strong as the others. Now wait a minute. There it is. Forty-six. Now they've only got three as well, so that's this core is a bit smaller than the others. Six-four Panzer, Panzer Division. On the Czechoslovakian border here. There's not much down here. I don't know why we haven't got people in Schwandorf and all that, but we don't. So don't ask me. Okay, I expected that we'd need some consumer goods sooner or later. But we've got enough IC for all of this anyways, so we're fine. We're wasting some, they say. Oh, we wouldn't want to waste any, would we? Let's get some more anti-aircraft uh, anti guns built. Ten of them. I want to put them on all the important IC and I'll make sure the British bombers stay away. Uh, the last thing I'll do is probably build up the Air Force, uh, even though we've, we've got a fairly good one. I reckon we'll need some more uh, interceptors to be 100% efficient. Uh, our... let me see here. Where is my command? My... Uh, Göring's Luftwaffe is on London, so they've got everything placed around here. So they know to bomb London and to keep everything away. Uh, air map mode, naval map mode. Transporting a lot to the, wow, a lot to these uh, South American places here. Uh, Cuba. Oh, look at that, awesome. Uh, some down here to Iraq. Got some minor trade going on. Not much with the British, to be honest. <laughs> these ports are probably gonna see themselves. Uh, what's up with the red? I don't know the difference between the green and red. Red could be like supplies. And green could be like wares or something. I don't know. <coughs> if anyone knows, then let me know. A massive amount of submarines are soon going to be done. I'm going to play till about the beginning of. I might just play till 1939 and cut it up in several parts. That might just work much better. Bank for International Settlement. Uh, well, we are producing a lot of supplies, and I could need some more money. 
Uh, I'll definitely do that. Why Switzerland? Switzerland gains so much neutrality when you do this. I wonder what if I play a Switzerland? I don't know if the AI triggers the events like like we do. They should do. They should do every as soon as they have the time. As soon as they it's available, they should automatically be triggered to do it. Which I think they sort of are, but I don't know. Third third army's got 376,000 men, 266,000 men, and 257,000 men. First, second, and third. It's quite all relevant to be fairly honest. Uh, obviously we would need the most men here on the Western Front and I reckon we'll Blitzkrieg the Dutch fairly quickly up here with the troops we've got if that needs to occur. So don't worry about this, it'll be fine. <coughs> Hindenburg disasters. Aircraft are a better way to go. Well, yes. Clearly. Poland. I have influenced you and your independence has been guaranteed by me. I can't invade you, invite you, because your value is high. I'd rather keep you really close to me. And I mean, if the British. No, but seriously, if the British. If the British guarantee the independence of the Polish and the Russians attack them, we'd have a triple war between me, UK, and UK and Soviet Union, making me a pretty good, strong ally with the Russians. That's fucked. Some more VP map mode. Not air, VP. See, it goes away instantly. One, two, three. One, two, three. As much here on the Western Front as possible, just to keep our IC safe. Okay, I'm getting some mad stacks in here now, so this is good. <laughs> oh, August can't, couldn't come any earlier. Can't wait to deploy my submarines. It's gonna be like what 40 of them. <laughs> <laughs> This is sick. This is disgustingly sick. So many submarines. I cannot believe it. It is insane. Alright, while we're at it, let's jump a bit ahead early onto interceptors here. I'm going to want another s nine of these. Yes, it'll cost us some IC, but I want it. I want it now. Here's us. Here's us? What the fuck? Mölders, Eismeer. Jack Geschwader, 20. You want me to stop talking German? I can't really stop speaking it when I'm only really pronouncing things in German. I'm not gonna be saying like Jedige de Schwader 20, you know. That would just be weird. I even like if I played like a Latin American or a South American or whatever country, I mean I'd like be like Echo that hat, that was like I don't know, that was like Italian. I don't know. Oh, uh, Amelia Earhart disappears. What what the fuck is it? Totenkopf? The first Oh, it popped up in front of me, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Death set. The first three Totenkopf Verbände of poorly trained concentration camps guard will beg, borrow, and steal equipment in order to become fully flag motorized divisions. Okay, right. Uh, do that. Queen of Air is lost. I don't care. Put the policies into place. Uh, we now. Uh, 20 in organization. That's good. Hitler wanted a full scale European war with Britain and France between 1941. He got one a bit too early, I guess. Uh, yes, Japan, come here, Tahirohu, Asia, Japan, invite. I think as soon as they're invited, they're going to start the war against the Chinese. Like, it'll be a matter of hours. Yeah, they did. Surrounded Beiping as well. And now they're moving down. <coughs> they probably just seized the coast, unlike me. They took it all. So, yeah. That's pretty good up there. Hmm. Yes, we got all of these with us now. 22, 19.10. Oh, look at that. They're all just jumping closer. Like, ah. Uh, ooh. So, let's take a look at Africa. There's barely any countries in Africa. See, I'm, that's not a part of Africa, is it? 
Here we go, Junker Schools. Uh, Bad Tolls, Brunswick, Klagenfurt, and Prague, the Witz. Yeah, these are the ones I was talking about. This is good. Yeah, it, it, it'll be located in Braunschweig. Look at that. Industrial capacity with level 5, airbase 10, and aircraft guns 6. Which is really good. So that's the region I was trying to find. There it is. I didn't see it last time. Yeah, look at that. Instant increase and all that. That's nice. Ooh, I need a lot on a lot on in consumer goods right now, apparently for some reason. Reinforcements needs to be brought up as well. These Oh my god, look at that. Look at this. Hollow man who gets the mad stacks in. Cream of the crop shit. Daddy is feeling the hot shit. <laughs> oh my god. We had the U boats. So much of them. It's in crazy. And they're all hunting in pairs. Parliamentary scandal. If I keep him, I'll use money. Oh, I'll lose way too much money for that. Just remove him. He disclosed something, I guess. So, uh, we have more to use now. I think I'll buy me another 20 anti aircraft guns. I really want to be prepared for this. You don't understand. The British will literally bumfuck me 24 7 with bombers. I don't want that ever happening, so I will do as all I can to produce as much of that. Oh yeah, by the way, let's <laughs> let's put some submarines to use, shall we? So many goddamn sub I've never seen this many submarines. I think I've outproduced myself. Um, here comes the question though. If I'll ever need leaders in the future, I will merge the navy. Even though they'll have separate leaders, it might be extra good, I don't know. Hopefully they work together. Look at this! Look at that! Huh. I might just make me some, uh... Wait a minute, if I want these guys... I'll target these on London as well. I don't know if they're going to reposition themselves or anything. No, they're just going to be sitting tight because, well, they'll be they'll be used efficiently. Wait a minute, I told you to. Yes, because now, obviously, they would need some of this. I'm wondering if I if I've gone too far with this whole sort of over the top um if I should keep everything in one or if this is actually going to be better because right now this is kind of like an unsupported navy if I bring troops into raider if I give him like naval forces he might actually invade with them and do cool stuff with it I reckon I'll do that yeah yeah and these the submarines will be will be kept outside but I'm definitely going to produce uh, naval troops for this guy in fact the third Panzer Armeko is going to be dragged into this one. Wilhelmshaven Grenzwacht. Yeah, can't you give this to someone else? No, oh, it's just going to be stuck there. Reichsführung SS. I uh, might use the SS. I might use the SS as my Himmler. Look at that. In all caps. Himmler. Himmler. Ah. Cool if I had done it. I don't. Or Raider, I don't. 
Hitler. National leader. Strength 100 men. Organization high experience. It's got some defense units here. Like hearing assists. That's just like brown skirts. Feldkommandostelle Reich. Yeah, that's the HQ there. Some heavy shit. So later on, I'm gonna give uh, them troops, literally like naval divisions. Oh, let's mass produce this shit. This will be done very soon. The anti-aircraft guns don't take very long to build at all. Yeah, I'll be able to build Marine Special Forces any time now, to be honest. Amphibious units training is complete. Uh, Raider is sitting there. Himmler is with his SS. I'm gonna player control. Actually, I'm gonna control these guys myself. Where is the SS? Upper command the marina. Yeah, yeah. Wait a second. Uh, yeah, this is good. Wait a second. Let me just take a look at this first. All these divisions, except Himmler. Uh, they're gonna be if ever they're if they're ever gonna be put to attack. Uh, I'm gonna wanna command them down here. Reichspartei der Arbeit. That's good. More in IC. Uh, lose some supplies, but we'll get instant relations with Japan, and we'll get way better IC. Way better IC. Highly welcome. Oh my god, all these trainings. Let's deploy some artillery brigades here. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to give it to the Totenkopf, but I am going to give it to my infantry divisions that I have stationed here and there. Saarbrücken. Yeah, it's a bit here and there. This will definitely increase their capabilities on the field. Brigade attachments, I want another five. Increase the numbers of the glorious German army. Put it like that. Alright! So, I uh, everything's golden right now. Everything's looking real good over here. Yeah. Uh, real good. Losing a bit of money. What you do, what you do. Can't do much about it. Oof. Need to put a lot on that. Upgrades. Oh, look at this. IC is going to be done. I can't wait. We should stay at around 250. Try and be at 300 sometime during the war. Oof. All these aircraft guns. Oh, yeah. München, Stuttgart, Nürnberg. Oh. Put one there, anyways. Is VP very important? Because I know that I've obviously got. Oh, they won't bomb that fine. Uh, lots of IC down here, so that's good. Stuttgart. So why is this not shining up? We've got IC in there. We got. Oh, we got. Oh, look at this one. In Nordhorn, we're going to need another five anti aircraft guns in there. Am I looking at the wrong one? Supply map now. No. Legion diplomatic revolt risk into the weather. Simplify terrain, forests, plains, mountains. The, the, the grey is like, the, the black is like mountains. This is like hills. So we need just forest. Look at that. Fucking largest forest reserve. Desert. Jungle. I hate the jungle. I hate to fight in the jungle. Forests up here in Canada. That's a very large reserve. There's deserts here on the left. Interesting. And I dislike the regular train map mode. I always go with the political one. Because it the, just draws up the map so beautifully. Uh, so we've got that. I'm not going to build any rocket test sites. You know what? I'll build one rocket test site. Because I feel that... It would be fucking awesome to have it. Speed things up a bit. Oh, 
Mm -hmm. Awesome, I see. Uh, 